Hello, oh, Walid. Good to Hi. see you. Hello, you? Hello, good. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Karen. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. What we're going to do is go into the room, okay? So I'll just get you to follow me. Okay, come on in. Thank you. Have a seat. Welcome, everybody. My name's Karen. So on behalf of the Department of Human Services at Centrelink, we'd just like to offer you a very warm welcome. We aim to make uh, everything as seamless as possible for you. So that's why we, we bring you in today to talk about what is Centrelink, what is the Australian Taxation Office, and also what is Medicare. <laughs> So what I've just placed in front of you is a, like a display card. So it's an actual of what it will look like. So you will have, after we've done all this paperwork today, you are going to be issued with one of these. This is called a Medicare card. You're also going to be issued a bank card or an ATM key card. This will come later to you via the post and this is from the Australian Taxation Office. Any questions so far? Not so far, but for the long term we would like the Australian government to continue supporting us. We would like to thank the Australian Embassy, the Australian government for welcoming us. And we hope that it will continue to communicate with us. Of course, and that's one of the, the benefits of uh, Centrelink and something that is I'm very, very proud of is that it doesn't just end after today, that you will be supported and not just by myself but by anybody in any Centrelink office just by coming in and making contact uh, service will be provided to you. So what I'm going to do now is just hand out the paperwork to you and then we're going to go through and explain what the paperwork is and be getting you to sign. So what we start with is what we have on the top of the paperwork is that you require an interpreter in Arabic language. This is a free service that's offered to you. Next we have your Centrelink reference number, your name, your date of birth and the country you're born in. We had you arriving here in Australia on the 23rd, which is yesterday. And then uh, moving down is the name of the children. Now because it's a Centrelink form, we have the children's details under NOR's payment. We do this because we recognise the mother as being responsible for the children. So we, we automatically place the children's details um, on under the mother. Thank you very much. Great. Okay, so that is the first form done. She is thanking you because you gave her the IMI card card. So she is going to make copies. A copy for them for Centrelink and a copy for the bank. Mr. Troy, who is from the bank, will talk to you in order to open an account for you and fill out papers. I've opened your bank accounts for you. I'm just going to go through uh, a few of the, the fees and charges that could be applied, OK? So the account that I've opened for you has no monthly fees, and providing you use our bank to withdraw your money at our ATMs or in the branches, you shouldn't get charged any fees at all on the account, OK? So you'll receive a debit MasterCard. When you receive that, if you can come back into the branch with your IMI cards, we can activate it for you and get you to pick your own PIN number. Hello everyone and welcome. How was your first night on the Gold Coast? Salam, indeed na chu, bulla chu. Majamari akani nanta zi Gold Coast lights indeed na berbla. Take a look. Hi, basalam adrenal, basalam adrenal. Ijo demo salam na chu, madam chidi. They slept well. They have rest well. Yeah, everyone is okay. Great. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go um, around and do a local orientation of the local Southport area. So you'll see things like the shopping centre where you can buy your groceries. You'll be taken to the bank, to the post office where you can pay your bills and send mail. To the news agency where you can get a go card, which is the card you use to get on the buses and trams. There are two types of shops. There are large shops, such as food stores, and there are also small shops. You can get a Go card for transport. We'll also show you where the library is, where you can borrow books, and also the doctor, where you can make appointments to see a GP. Akram will also go through some road safety issues with you to make sure you know how to cross the road safely. Enjoy your day.
Hi, how are you? Good. My name is Mir Rain from the MDA, the CSW. Wonderful, thank you. We've been expecting you. Hi. Yeah. Um, we just have some registration and consent forms for patients to complete. Yep. yep. We're going to need you to complete one of these for each member of the family mm -hmm. and then sign on the back page here. Yeah. Okay. No one for each member. Thank, thank you. you. Please right. take out your EMU card. Tick interpreter every time you see the doctor. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Lee. Can please call Annie out? Thank you. My name is Lee. I'm a nurse here. We brought you here today to do a nurse assessment first. So I will ask you a few questions first. Okay, should we start? So any, do you smoke? Do you drink? No, no. never. That's good. Have you ever been to hospital because of any surgery or illness? No, no. never? No, that's good. In your family, do you know any significant family history? Like diabetic, heart diseases? No, no one has. Nobody has that? Great. Hi, I'm Dr. Adla Brambill. I work for World Wellness Group. Marhaban, ana ismi Dr. Adla Brambill. Ana a'mal fi World Wellness Group. I want to assure you today that anything that you share with me, I need to keep confidential so that I can't share it with others without your consent unless it is something that is a threat to you or a threat to others. We see a big variety of refugees from very different backgrounds. There's a ton of services available for mental health support from you know, mental health clinicians such as psychologists and psychiatrists, but you also find social groups can help because sometimes it's the isolation that's really compounding things. I'd like you to understand that I'm here to help you. I do have your best interests in mind. Do you have any major sort of medical issues in the past? So any previous significant illnesses or surgery? No. Do you take any regular medications at all? No. Are you allergic to any medication? Do you smoke? No.